Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel. This video is for people that need help with like a night weapon making and I will go over the basic weapons they can create early game and also some of the better weapons they can create later on. So let's get right into this. So to start out you're going to need to have an equipment forge. Of course the basic one will do for early game purposes but if you want to use level 3 stuff or level 2 stuff you need these forges as well. So to create the less equipment forge you need a crafting table and wooden axe for the great equipment forge, the less equipment forge here plus an iron block and then for the master equipment forge greater equipment forge plus block of diamond now as you can see i actually typed in the bottom here equipment forge i actually learned that if you type it in here into the just enough items which is recommended for equipment forge purposes because it makes life so much easier for making the like and weapons but if you type it in here equipment forge it shows you all the stuff for the equipment forge now the first part that you need is going to be a base. This is a base. As you can see there, it shows base and the base will unlock the head and pommel. Now for tools, you don't need to use a pommel because the pommel is more for weapons and the pommel will add certain buffs or certain abilities that will be a contribution to the weapon that you're making. So let's craft the most basic versions of the weapons that you can make. So take a look at the wooden rod. This is a rod that can be used as a base and there's also an iron rod variant that will add the pommel. Now, let's just say that we're making a tool here and we're going to make a wooden rod to make a tool. We don't need the iron rod because that adds in the pommel. Start with the wooden rod first and we'll put this into the lesser equipment forge. It unlocks the head slots and the head slot will determine how you should go about making your weapon or tool of some kind. So the three main heads you can add are the guard head, axe head or pipe joints. And these all determine what you can add into the other slots, whether it be an axe, a pike, or a blade. So, for example, the axe head, the iron axe head, you can put it in a wooden guard, which is made through three sticks. And you can put four iron around it, like so, and you get an iron axe head. For the iron guard, it's three iron above the wooden guard. And for the iron pike joints, we have two iron ingots and the wooden guard. There are also two craftable blades that you can add to your weapon such as the wooden paxil and the iron paxil. And the iron paxil and the wooden paxil are made through three tools, the pickaxe, the axe, and the shovel, and they're made in this order. So basically to start out, you can make a wooden paxil, or if you have enough iron, you can make the iron paxil. So here we have the wooden rod. We're going to go ahead and get a wooden guard. For more damage and cooldown and everything like that, you can add in an iron guard instead. But for now, let's stick with a wooden guard. Let's get ourselves a wooden paxel. And here we have the most basic tool that you can possibly craft through only wood alone. It's actually a really cool design for the wooden paxel. So let me actually go into game mode survival. And as you can see, it has the digging capability of a shovel, the chopping capability of an axe, and the mining capabilities of a pickaxe. So it is a very nice weapon to start out with. Here in my inventory, I actually have myself a iron paxel with an iron guard and just a iron rod instead. And if I go back into game mode survival, here we can really mine a lot faster. And overall, this is a very good starting point for your Lycanite weapon creation. You can also take it a step further and instead of adding in the iron paxel, let's just say you needed a very good weapon that can also mine a very vast area within caves and all that stuff. In the early game, you're going to be mining iron and you're going to be facing a lot of Geonarches. They can drop either the Geonarch Fist, the Geonarch Spear. The Geonarch Spear can go on the pike joint and the Geonarch Fist can go on the axe joint. So let me actually show you the Geonarch Spear and the Geonarch Axe through only using the uh, wooden rod plus the iron axe head or the iron pike joints. Okay, so I have the wooden rod here. Let's put on the iron axe head and it opens up two slots for the Geonarch Fist, which I actually have a double headed Geonarch Fist axe here. So let's take the uh, Geonarch Fist here. Oh, whoops, I actually took a level two one. Let me actually do this over here then. So as you can see, the level two is supposed to work for the level two equipment forge, like so. So here we go. And so here we made an axe using the Geonarch Fist. This right here can be used to mine 
like a pickaxe instead of an axe for some reason. And it mines out a significant area. And it will even show on the weapon itself the area that it mines out. So it's a 3x3x3. Three by three by three. Most likely, you're going to be mining iron anyways for the iron guards. So you're going to be running into Geon Arches early. Make sure to have a weapon on you. The Geon Arches have a set hit pattern. And if you can outlast the Geon Arch or block the hits every time that they come up, you can easily take out a Geon Arch very quickly. But let me show you how to use the iron pike joint. I accidentally got a level 3 one. So we have to go over to the level 3 equipment forge. So put it here, here, and then Geon Arch Spear level 3. You get yourself a June Arch Spear. All right, so let's go into some more of the complex designs and complex weapons. I won't show you exactly how to build a perfect Lycanite weapon because at the end of the day, there are so many fascinating combinations of weapons. If you want to go for damage, sure, I'll show you the damaging weapon, but some can offer projectiles like fire projectiles. Some can offer like water projectiles. Some can offer like a whole different array of different projectiles they can fire. It's just so unique in how you can customize your weapon to make it to your you know, intent. Let's start with a very interesting base. The Belfegger arm. This will give you the projectile of Doomfire plus two primary use Vespid Singer. This will give you the poison effect onto any enemy. If you don't have a level three weapon, that is perfectly fine because there is an XP amount on these individual items. So you can gain XP, I believe from killing things and this will give experience to your items so that you don't need to go out and find a level three item. So we have two items right here. Let's go for a blade because I want to try the Cinder Blade. So we're going to go for a head that gives you the ability to add the slot of a blade. Make sure that it shows on here that add slot blade. The Darkling Skull has a damage cooldown range sweep effect leech level one. So let's add ourselves a Darkling Skull and let's get ourselves a Cinder Blade. So we're going to be using the Master Equipment Forge so that we can put everything together. First, let's add in the Belfigur Arm, Vespid Singer. We're going to add in the Darkling Skull and then add in the Cinder Blade. And look at that. It says Harvest Sword. So I think if you use this for like mining, like let's say cobwebs, it will break that much. It will give the opponent effect poison level two, leech level three, burning level one, penetration level one. And each of them have their own cooldowns. Projectile Ember plus Doom Fireball summons a Cinder and a Darkling. You can make some insane weapon combinations. So as you can see, here we have some fire. This is from obviously the Cinder Sword. And it also, I believe, summons Cinders and Darklings if we, let's say, make an attack or something. So let's actually try to attack the Crake here. We get Leech and they get a whole lot of negative debuffs. And actually see the uh, there's actually two bars right here you see a mana bar and a sharpness bar the sharpness bar obviously goes down after the physical use of it and oh that's how you summon those <laughs> there we go i was wondering how you do this so yeah left click is the doom ball and right click is the fire and as you can see we actually have some reach on us right there there is no arm that adds in damage so let's go with the bell figure arm again so we can get the doom ball now for pommel, let's see if there's one that gives you a lot of damage. It looks like no. All right, so the ERA Stinger gives you the ability of a water jet secondary projectile. So let's actually get that in here as well. So all of the heads for the most part provide the same amount of damage, like round one, or in this case of the Pauline Claw, it will just give you an effect. This one actually gives you strength, so that's pretty cool. But I'm gonna rock with the Uberaptor Skull because it will give you axe slots, two of them. And this would be very interesting to add more damage to your weapon because you have two of the axe slots. And so finally, let's take a look at some of the axe slot weapon stuff. Out of all of them, the Vapula Crystal seems to have the most damage. So let's type into here, Vapula Crystal, and let's actually get two of these to fill out the axe slots. And of course, like I said, most damage doesn't mean the best weapon, but you know, let's just say that you want the most damage. Here you go. It looks weird as frick, but it is quite the, the weapon here. Um, all right, let's go out and kill something. Let's see the rock. Oh my goodness. 
Kill, kill someone with more health. Yep. That is a lot of damage. And it even shoots something out. And then here you have the ray. Okay, right click. Yep. <laughs> this just does a significant amount of damage plus a sweep. And there's even a doom ball plus a bit of a jet here. Here we have an Ostaman. And here we have a Dedaman. Yep, as you can see, this weapon is pretty, pretty amazing. But there's so many different kinds of weapons they can make, and a lot of them are going to be as cool as this one that I just made. Try to see what weapon that you can create, and let me know down below what combination of weapon that you could create via like a knight. With that said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, and good night.